everybody! It's Cat's Eye Full Moon! Okay, let's go. This week's Full Moon, okay? We got the Full Moon. We've got a combo of Aries, Cancer, Libra. Wait, Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. And they bring in a business and action energy, which is awesome. Now, we this Full Moon is very strong. Okay, it's called the Wolf Moon. It's the first Full Moon of this year. Um... Now, we've got this great business and action energy. You've got the full moon's energy, which can be, you know, we know how that goes on full moons. So, anyway. But, here's what's going on. We have a lot of disruption, a lot of chaos. We're not getting things done. Yes, we have this go. We want to do action. But then we keep having things come up to stop us from doing what we want it, what we're trying to get done this week. So, you know why? We have five planets in disharmony. They don't like each other. They're all boxing right now. And that energy is being amplified by the moon. Okay. And now we got this mix of with the, um, with the astrology guys coming in and they're all, and they're being amplified. So we have this urge to get things done, but then we have, um, <coughs> excuse me, but then we have the chaos and the disruptive energy just clock blocking every step of the way. Okay. How do you deal with it? So I pull a card. I got the sage. Yes, of course, it's backwards because, you know, my phone. So anyway, the sage counsels. Communication. Listen first. If you start getting angry and stuff like that, you do not want to feed this energy because you will get it back fast and you'll get it back tenfold. It's going to be powerful. You do not want to feed it. So in order for us to combat this, we got to step back, take a breath, go to the bathroom, take five minutes, leave. Okay? Don't let people sit there and take advantage of you either. I'm talking kids. I'm talking parents, I'm talking family members, friends, cousins, whatever, your boss, they will know how to push your buttons. And this week, we got to watch out for that because the people who are like riding this way, some people live for this kind of energy. Uh, we do not want to be taken advantage of. And we don't want to get to a point where we're like, okay, fine, whatever, just get out of my face. Do not do that. It will bite you in the butt next week when things start calming down and you'll regret it. So let's watch out for that. Okay. Be very aware. Thank God this moon brings in a lot of clarity and awareness right now. So we can actually see things. This is also a time that things that you need to let go in your life, people, places, things, okay, jobs, uh, you know, you never know. I mean, whatever is going on in your life that needs to let go, anything that keeps being repeated, feels like karma, has to go. And it's being illuminated right now. So a lot of people, I've been getting a lot of uh, messages from clients asking me and people asking me about it, going, why is this happening again over and over? And I'm like, you got to look into it and see why it's happening. So that's another thing we have to be aware of. So this is a time of removing things. So we're going to do it. We're going to do this now. We've got, this is going to ride out until it looks like Tuesday or Wednesday. You know how this week started Monday and Tuesday? It's going to start slowing down Monday and Tuesday next week. So Sorry for the speediness, just I only have a lot of time. Crystals. For calm and anxiety during this time to keep you grounded, always smoky quartz or hematite. This is my smoky, beautiful smoky quartz arrowhead. Okay, hematite. <clears throat> Shungite. Uh, for stress. Lepidolite, my favorite. This is great for anxiety. Highly recommend it. Blue lace agate, same thing. I've got howlite, which looks like white turquoise, but it's not. It's howlite. Rose quartz, always keep a piece on you, no matter what other crystals you have on you. Rose quartz, keep that love going through, because we need that love. Love is power, and that will help us get through this week. And, of course, the beautiful amethyst, my birthstone. Ah, calming, wonderful, sweet. So, on that note, forgive me for being speedy. It's just Facebook gets a limit on what I can upload. So, namaste, have a good rest of the week, and I will have a pick a card up here very soon for you.